Recently I did a video on my vintage ham radio uh, ICO 753 that I built in the 60s and I thought today what I would do is to do a video on a more modern transceiver just to show some of the differences. Uh, here is my Kenwood unit which is a TS590 and uh, it's by no means the latest and greatest it's about uh, 10 years old but it's certainly got some great features compared to the one that I had back in the 60s. Uh, as you can see, got a tuner here that is very easy to move around. Digital display, all kinds of different functions and things to make it easier to operate. And right now I'm tuned in to, um, I could demonstrate just a single sideband voice communication with another ham radio operator, but I think that's what everybody thinks about when they think about amateur radio or ham radio and what I wanted to show today is uh, one of the more modern uh, modes of communication on the ham, band, ham bands called FT8 and it's a digital um, mode of, of uh, communicating and I'm going to turn up the volume so you can hear what it sounds like right now I'm on the 10 meter band which is 28 0.074 megacycles is the frequency that I'm on um, and these are the signals that you're hearing that are coming across. These are multiple stations all transmitting uh, information back and forth and the transceiver is linked to my computer and on the computer screen you can see this is kind of the spectrum of the different signals that are coming in, the red ones being the strongest, the yellow ones being the ones that are a little bit uh, not as strong, and then the frequencies up here, so they're spread across the, the spectrum. And over here, you'll see all of the um, stations that are currently sending out information. And here's one calling CQ, another calling CQ, and then their call letters after it. And here's the frequency. And if you look down at the bottom, you'll see a list of all of those stations that I was pointing to up here. And it has their call letters. And if I hover on it, I can see where that station is located. For instance, this one is Venezuela, as you'll see on the top line. Uh, this one is Brazil. This one is Argentina. And this one that comes up yellow is one that I have not made a contact with. It's Reunion Island. And it's FR4OM is the call letters. Now, what I'm going to do is to demonstrate a contact that I'm going to make with one of these stations. Okay, I'm going to try to call this station J88IH. He's calling CQDX, which means he wants to speak to a station. Um, according to the information here, it looks like he's in St. Vincent, which I'm not even sure where that is, but I think it's probably Caribbean Island, possibly. But we'll find out. We can find out later. Oh, he called somebody else. Missed him. Okay, I'm calling the St. Vincent station again. And it's in the transmit from my station cycle. See if we get a answer from him. He is probably transmitting to me or someone. Okay, here it, here it is. Uh, I've called him. He's called me back and given me a signal report. And now I am transmitting back to him, acknowledging his transmission and giving him a signal report. And so now it's his turn in the exchange. He will come back and say, R R R R R 73s, which means best wishes. Received everything, best wishes. 
and I'm transmitting to him 73s. And so that's the end of the exchange and the contact is complete. I just go up here and I click on log QSO, which is QSO is short for conversation, contact. And look and see all the information is correct. The mode of trans transmission is FT8, 10 meter band, got the time, and just click OK. And then it's logged automatically into my uh, online logbook. I get a confirmation that it's been logged. So that's the way FTA, FT8 mode of transmission on amateur radio works. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you found this interesting, then please click like. If you know of anyone else that would be interested in watching it, feel free to share it to them also. Thank you.